is water or <laughs> gin. <laughs> so let's start with the start. How did you develop this project? How did uh, how did it begin? Um, I think three years ago they want to change the the way they they found the projects in Romania. Mm. Now we have a system uh, like in France, if you want to do a CNC, and you have to pass a sort of contest with, uh, with a script. And uh, they want to, to make, um, to change and to, to pass with a, a decoupage. Mm. So uh, I was against this new project of law, and, but this at one point, at the end, didn't happen which is good, but at the same time it remembers me the way that I start to learn cinema. Because mm. I was in the school and uh, I started to study in 99. Mm. And um, back there we work all the time on print, but because we don't have too much, uh, uh, too much footage, we, uh, we supposed to, to came after the script to, to our teachers to, with a decoupage. Mm. And uh, all the time I was, um, if you want, I was chronometrating my, sen my scenes back home and I was trying to, to see if it's... Uh, and all my, uh, at the end of the day, I think all my projects in the school, I was, uh, and even after, they were, uh, they were made in a way with this, uh, with this limit of uh, uh, all the time you have to, my graduation movie, the mo when I finished the school, it was finished with the uh, rushes from American movies mm. uh, because I finished my, uh, uh, I, I finished my coat, my, uh, uh, normally you, you, you have 40 minutes of, uh, of uh, uh, print and you have to do a, like a movie of seven minutes, mm. but all the time I, I was making it longer and anyway, and I was start I started in a way from this point, you know. Mm. So, the, so there was changes, and it reminded you of this, and that that kind of was the germ of the story, or no? I was I was asking the way I, I learned to cinema. Oh, uh, and uh, the, the, this law and uh, this project of the law uh, brings me in this situation in a way to 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 remember the way that I started yeah, to make yeah. cinema and this type of yeah, in a way of hunger and of uh, limits. Uh, poverty, if you want, of, mm. uh, of uh, yeah. So that's how you had the idea of um, the minimal amount of shots and each one kind of roughly a similar duration to kind of create the rhythm of this film? Otherwise, the story, after this, the story was changing a lot. I think mm. I was right, wrote like, uh, I, was, uh, I had like seven, eight, eight drafts of script mm. and uh, yeah, becoming, uh, that was the starting point. You know? mm. But it's being presented digitally, even though it was sh it was shot on, on. Yeah, because the... unfortunately, there are now you don't have many mm. theaters with thirty five. Mm, yeah. Uh, some, when I had the occasion, uh, I uh, I wanted to be on thirty five because I think the the print it's uh, I made also the the DCP, but the print it's it's better for me. Mm -hmm. So did you feel any hesitation about doing a film about a filmmaker, or was that kind of an exciting component of the film? Doing, uh, thinking at the starting point, uh, yeah, you know, it was maybe, yeah, maybe I was doubting at one point, yeah. Uh, but in the same time, I felt it like um, necessary in a way, you know, mm. to question in a way my, my method to ask about this, you know. Mm. Yeah, maybe I had some moments at one point, but yeah, at the end I did it, so <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> um, were you injecting a lot of your own experiences into the film? I know that you cite Antonioni as an influence, and Antonioni is one of the, the filmmakers mentioned in the film. How much of it pertains to your own experiences? Uh, particularly to my experiences, uh, there are things that Maybe sometimes, sometimes I'm, uh, I'm quite, uh, how could I say, I'm so precise and uh, mm. yeah, these are things that, but I, ne I never cheat my wife <laughs> as an actress, so <laughs> there are things that I yeah, yeah. <laughs> from my, my way of making movies, but in the same time, yeah, it's not uh, one by one, if mm, you want. Mm. Uh, 
Well, that's it. But there is also this type of obsession of reality yeah, and uh, long takes and there are things that yeah that I'm concerned in in uh, in my in my uh, in my movies, you know. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that it starts with a conversation about a, a nude scene. Is that kind of injecting some humor off the top, or is it more to kind of distill the the specific interests of this particular director? That scene, it's uh, it's a way of I was thinking that scene like a, to describe a little a little uh, a certain type of re relation between mm. an actress and a director, and yeah, for me it's a, quite a funny uh, funny scene with his uh, I don't know his pretension. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Each one of these shots especially that one, uh, tends to have like a second screen almost within the frame or like a, an interior frame. Sometimes it's the, the windshield, sometimes it's like a, a doorway. Is, is that kind of to cue some of the performances that are happening within the film, like, like the kind of meta-narrative, you could say? This movie, it was... I was thinking to... All these movies, uh, in, in a way, it's... Thing, uh, I was thinking I did like like a sort of uh, certain types of mirrors, you know. Mm, yeah. So uh, I didn't want to have death, in, but in the same time to have access of, of a certain type of material, if you want, a certain type of uh, something very thin, which uh, in fact hi hides uh, other things, you know. Mm, yeah. So using these doors, maybe windows, maybe it's it's an, it was something aesthetical. If you want to to have the to work on this kind of beauty of print that you have it, you know. Mm. But in the same time, not to have depth, mm. because in a way, you know, it's like I was thinking a lot at this because at one point Stendhal defines the. Uh, realistic novel, like a mirror that you have to carry on the way, mm. and uh, you have to show the mud and the uh, and the s sky also. Mm. And I was thinking to have like uh, to have like a uh, or in this character, in this main character, in this director, to have a little bit like the mud and the sky. You know, mm. uh, it's reflecting something from outside. Mm. But one thing that I find interesting that the audience does not see within the frame is the actual kind of rushes or the the practicing of the the film. W what went into that decision? I'm sure that like it was a, a significant decision. The film did not show what he sees when he looks at the performance. I think all this, uh, even the way that I I was shooting the story, because sometimes you have the decision to. To close the situations, to to go from a situation to another, and I want to to play with uh, just with parts, mm. and uh, there in the parts to to see maybe a certain type of uh, realism that the story doesn't give you, but the way of acting gives you. Mm. It's I don't know if I'm yeah. clear, yeah. but because sometimes you have the decision to. When you are making a movie, to to put all the bricks, you know, to construct something into into something. But here, I like to to have parts of bricks, if you want, mm. parts of material. But I, we return at the mirror, like a broken mirror, you know, mm. Mm. which you can't integrate at the end. Mm. So yeah, uh, I was thinking that going into the certain type of zoom, you know, or blow up to see just forms, you know. Mm. At the end we return at Antonio and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, in a way I think each movie that I made, in a way, is like the, the movie that I made after is like a blow up. <laughs> mm, yeah. It's interesting though that the, um, as you say, there it, it kind of, there's not, there's not a lot of depth, but that almost creates a depth, like there's no there's no, we're not seeing the sets or the mise-en-scene, but we're paying attention to the mise-en-scene in the shots you have. Or likewise, we, uh, we don't have the, they're not blocking out completely, but because the camera's not moving, you're more aware of the blocking. So in a way, by not showing, like just showing the rehearsals, 
the viewer is more aware of the things that you're seeing that they don't have, like that they're not rehearsing. Yeah. I thought that was an interesting kind of, how did you set up the kind of tableau structure where it seems like objects take on a role uh, in the frame? I, I, this, this is coming, I think, with, with long takes. Yeah. Because in the long takes, I think you have the, you have the time, maybe like audience to enter, if you want, mm. <laughs> yeah. into, into a kind of, and uh, into a kind of uh, uh, certain type of reality where the object are not anymore be dimensional. You enter, you are there, you you start to be there with them. Mm. I think it's a it's a matter of uh, of time. I think. Mm. I believe. Uh, mm. After, yeah. There's a there's a routine to it as well, and maybe that's because there are so few shots in the film, but. I mean, all, your, <coughs> all of your films, you get a sense of kind of the routine of the character, but here it's the routine of a filmmaker, which adds a separate dimension. How did you approach that, the kind of the rhythm of the film and the routine of the character? Here, I think there are the moments there are, in a way, it's like they became more, you know, because of the, uh, there are a lot of long shots and they, if the perspective is so close, it's not, if you are so close, I think it's uh, 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 the movie has a sort of slowness, which is becoming more. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, is going through something very slowly. You know, it's a certain type of routine, of course, because but every time, in the same time, he tries to grab something, he tries to fix, but he doesn't. Mm. He doesn't. Uh, he can't at the end. Hmm. He wants to ch change the scene. At the end, he'll renounce. And <laughs> another theme that comes up is is words. I mean, those are important in, in in your two previous films. And here, it's kind of like there's a theory. Theory is a type of word, like film theory. Using film theory as a way to kind of seduce someone, um, but also lying. Like, uh, how how did you approach that kind of theme in in this film? How language is used. Here, I want to. I wanted in this movie. It's something that it started to. In I which in which I was uh, I was started to be interested in uh, from police adjective. It was a sort of body language and uh, a sort of ideas that he have a sort of way that he wants to be. And mm. here, I want to also. I, I wanted to push this in my character to to have a certain type of schizoid just, uh, character in the way he's speaking and he's acting, mm. his body language and his thoughts, if you want. So yeah, maybe some, you don't know exactly because all the scenes, I wanted to keep the, all the scenes in between these because in the same time, she's doing a little bit the same because is that scene with, with Antonioni when she said that at one point that scene could be written, written that she, she didn't want to, she wants to, to pass this embarrassing moment mm -hmm. of jealousy. So, uh, yeah, I, I worked on this and I tried to work on this uh, uh, energy that it creates what we say and what we act. Mm. Uh, almost, it was the main idea for when I built this character, in mm. a way, to have something that it's, searching for something for a certain type of truth, but in the same time, he's not in that, so, yeah. He's also lying at various yeah, yeah. points, too, yeah. He's lying, and, uh, yeah, of course. He's lying, and at the same time, he's... Uh... There's, there's also the, the concept of her being this Monica Vitti double, like, and what that implies, like, is he attracted to her, or is he attracted to this concept that he sees? Like, she's obviously not Monica Vitti, there, there's, there's, you're, it seems like you're playing with, with reality and, and performance and... And, and the what, way that we, yeah. are, that we are formed, in mm, a way, yeah. by the cinema and by the... Cinema, for me, it's linked with a certain type of... of way of seeing, a way of watching. And if you are formed by the structures, sometimes you have, when, I, when I'm seeing, you have the 
what can I say, the, the, when you see something fresh, another eye, or the I mean, so YouTube, you see some films and, uh, yeah, you, you have to ask, you know, uh, about the way you are formed and uh, to, to have at one point a certain type of inner sense of the eye, yeah. I don't know. The idea, though, of, the, of your film is different than, the, like, I find that interesting where the camera is when they're rehearsing scenes, when they're blocking them out. Like, we don't necessarily know that where your camera's positioned would be where his would be in that, if, if he were to actually film that. And that's an, an added level of, are we seeing something that's close to what he would make, or is it completely different? Is that something you were going through, that, that layer of... Of, of course, it was like uh, something that, because at one point, yeah, it's... Uh, I wanted to to have something, my character to be something, uh, someone else in a way. It's me, but someone else at the same time. And it's, uh, uh, I wanted to have this, uh, to be uh, the third person. Mm -hmm. and, and each scene is, is basically a dialogue. It's, it's almost always two people in conversations with one another. How did that play into the structure of the film? And this one, uh, this one I didn't want, uh, on purpose, I, I, I just, didn't want to have a structure, uh, um, a very close structure. We were talking about like a broken mirror. So. Mm. Uh, it's my first movie that where I wasn't not concerned in in, uh, in a rhythm, if you want, mm. in uh, to have just parts, parts. So. And I was so, and when I was shooting, because I shoot like six or seven scenes, more scenes. Mm -hmm. That scenes, it's, it's, uh, they were like, um, I cut them, but in the same time, they were quite important in the developing of the story, in a way. It's like, I wanted to play with this kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, ellipses, you know, that mm. they are really playing in, uh, in the story. Mm. So, uh, I, I want to have like a strange object, you know, mm. <laughs> this movie to be not like, 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 not like in the frame, in a way. Yeah, in yeah. A, to continue, uh, yeah, it's like just like a, yeah, a structure that all goes after. Mm. All of your films do also have a kind of humorous irony to them, where one one aspect is operating in one way and another is in its opposite. And here it seems like the conversations about you know uh, how to best make something real, like what would she do? Would she would she get the stockings after uh, she has the underwear? What does that mean for undressing? But so they're they're talking about achieving a reality, but the entire film is so almost theatrical. Like you're, you're like you're watching uh, a proscenium arch. Like you're at the theater. Yeah. And I'm curious uh, that tension um, to you. What what is it signifying the the irony in this one? The humor of of knowing that despite how much they're trying to achieve this reality, it's so manufactured. It's it's a way of uh, reaching at the end a certain type of. Uh, maybe it's something that is coming, you know, from Dreyer and uh, no. <laughs> and Bresson, <Yeah. laughs> and uh, uh, because sometimes I think like director, me like director, I'm in a certain type of contradiction, you know, mm. doing and uh, constructing a certain type of reality. It's supposed to be. Maybe in that way, you know, mm. to be very precise in mm. a in a sort of geometry, you know, searching for a certain type of geometry. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, I guess, the funniest thing is that the ultimate reality is the endoscopy. Like that is the the least seemingly manufactured thing. <laughs> but even that's like questioned as being fake. I mean, is is that suggestive of kind of where cinema is headed, or where if you pursue reality? So far, you'll get to a kind of humorous conclusion. It's uh, it's a funny, yeah. It's it's another instrument. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's another instrument, and uh, in a way, yeah, it's uh, it's the only move. You know, it's the only traveling move, <laughs> <laughs> searching for something. Yeah, and you but it's, yeah. You mentioned YouTube, but it, it also kind of says that we, we, we as viewers have customized ourselves to different aesthetics. So now, like you can look at something like that and talk about the reality of the, the name being on it or like question how real it is, whereas 
you know, that's not what we, we thought of as reality in the 50s or, or the 60s. Um, w w is there any commentary about, about images and, and the production of images now versus... Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. It was like, uh, it was like that, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, as I said, it's a certain type of instrument mm. which you, which you try to, yeah, define. Mm. So, I think. Now, is there, is there a Romanian context? To, like, it doesn't seem like the Romanian context is as pronounced as your, your previous two films. Is that a deliberate absence, or is it maybe something that's just a little more subtle in this one? As I was speaking, I was... I think all here it's... You, you are watching something which is, if you want, in a... Uh, it's very small in a way, you know, it's very... Yeah. But in the same time, it's, uh, I was thinking uh, to, to have a certain type of atmosphere which is beyond this relation. Hmm. So I think it's a, in a way, it's a political movie also. Oh yeah? In, in what way? <laughs> you know, acting, you know, ah, yes. processing, you know, mm. of, uh, uh, yeah, you know, of uh, working maybe, yeah. Is it, do you, you, you tend to talk about the absurdity in your films? I mean, here one of them seems like the kind of romantic elements of the film are slightly absurd. Were there any other particular things that you felt expressed that kind of absurd humor? I think this is, it's, it's, it's in all my movies in a way, you know, it's like uh, something that it's coming with me, if you, I don't know. Mm. Even the way that I'm, I'm looking for this type of situation, and uh, I think it's something absurd. Yeah. Mm. But it is my uh, problem. <laughs> uh, have, have you had a chance to, to get audience reactions to the film or, or read some of the reviews? Uh, yes, I, I saw some uh, reviews, and then I was. Uh, I was in Locarno mm. for, for, for the premiere. And I was. Uh, I don't like to see. I don't like to see my movies uh, uh, again. You know, it's like. Uh, uh, yeah, I made it, and after that, uh, and reactions. Yes, I. I saw a few of them, but it was not released in theaters yet. And oh, okay. It was just yeah in festivals if you want. Mm. Yeah. So. I'm curious at the reaction versus, say, police adjective, which took a kind of familiar genre and turned it on its head a bit. It almost seems like this one at first seems a little more straightforward, but then there's the complexity beneath the surface. Yeah, I don't know. Here it's like... Um, it's hard to get because all these reactions, in a way, they are... Um, uh, the movie is in the beginning uh, of his life, if mm. you want, or whatever it is. Uh, uh, it's hard to, yeah, it's hard to look now. Of course, yeah, what I felt that maybe sometimes the people, they wait, all the time it, for me it was happening like that. Well, after I made 1208, people, they told me uh, that it's a good comedy, but in the same time, I don't know. I made police adjective, people, they told me that I supposed to make something like 1208. <laughs> now I made this one, I think, there were people that they would tell me that it was good to make something like <laughs> police. Yeah. <laughs> but in the same time, yeah, I think it's uh, it's a movie that, of course, it has its own audience. Hmm. And uh, I will see, uh, I don't know, in a few months, if mm, you want. Yeah. Because it's just in the beginning. Of, it was in uh, it was in Locarno. After that, it was in. Uh, Sarajevo, and now it's here, it's the third festival. Mm. It was not released yet in Romania. So, yeah, I, I, I can't imagine now the way he's, uh, he will be perceived. I don't know. Of course, I think it's... Maybe at one point it's more difficult than police. At one point, I don't know. But I still, I think it still has uh, a lot of humor, maybe more than police. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you see it fitting into what, what we've perceived as the Romanian new wave, how that has evolved up to this point? I, I don't know, I think this mark of the Romanian new wave, it's a little bit now for me, it's 
uh, what I believe, I believe that uh, the Romanian cinema is very, how could I say now, it's very complex in a way, you know, you have so many directions, so many, f I, I, I think it's my way of making cinema, it's important for me, but mm. not for the Romanian cinema, because it's like, I think each director, we were, three or four years ago, we were all in the beginning, but now I think it's quite obvious that each one is trying to, 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 to find his own way uh, in tone, own, own voice in cinema. And for me, the movies they are more, they are very different. Mm. They were in the beginning, but they are very different from, uh, and I think we could speak about authors, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, otherwise, yeah, it's, uh, it's a movie that counts for me and the next movie that I will make it, in a way. But for the Romanian cinema, uh, I don't know, it's, it's uh, too much to say. Mm, yeah. But now I think there are 10 or maybe, maybe 10 very good directors in Romania and each one is a third movie, fourth maybe, and... Uh, uh, yeah, and it's, it's a quite interesting place, you know, and... Uh, hmm. uh, Bogdan's very good in the film, and I'm, I'm curious how you worked with him as an actor. Uh, with, uh... With your lead, your lead actor. Uh, 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 Boogie, yeah. 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 Boogie, I know him for a long time. We were friends from... We are friends from 10 years, maybe more. So I knew him very well, and uh, in fact, I, when I made the casting, I had uh, two actors in my mind, uh, and I choose between them because I need someone to know to know very well, and in a way like parts of his biography and to speak with him and to construct with him. So mm. it was not a. I need someone very close, uh, and um, in fact, the casting it was between Boogie and uh, Papi, the other di director who played mm -hmm. here. You know. So they are friends. I know them very well for a long time, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I need someone to a very good actor, in the same time a very, very smart one, mm. very mobile one, and very. Because he has to be kind of subdued, but also kind of performative, and, and a little bit of a, a, a seduction that goes on. It seems like it, there are a lot of layers to. Yeah, to and the role. also thinking about this from the beginning, this kind of contrast between the body and the, what he said. It was important to have someone that, to be very conscient of, mm. very good and to, to, to could do this, you know. Mm. So yeah, we worked very well and uh, in fact, this is the first film we, uh, which we made together mm. till now, but we, I, I know him for a long, long time. Did you have to work through the, the blocking a lot for this one? Like, was it a very physical, choreographed film because of the, the camera not moving so much? Yeah, we were speaking a lot and we were speaking a lot of way of walking and a certain type of body language and after that we were speaking about we, we, build, it, we build in a way each other a certain type of biography and uh, we were speaking a lot about this. Mm. So yeah, it was, it was for him quite uh, demanding, quite demanding. You said that body gestures are something you're increasingly interested in, and, and why is that? It was something for this project, I don't know, it was something that it was coming from police, and mm. that, which is what was here. Uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know exactly, it was, it fits with this subject, I think. Mm, yeah. uh, no, but I don't know if in my next movie I'll <laughs> continue. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was something, because I think each movie that we made, each movie that I made, it's it's uh, it's something that it it's uh, incomplete. It reads something. Mm. It reads something that makes you to make <laughs> the next movie. Yeah, yeah. By uh, about the story with the, uh, when I made Twelve Eight East of Bucharest, I had the option to to work on. Uh, to make the TV uh, show mm, yeah. on video. But for me, it was not cinema at that time, you know? And uh, 
I was uh, I didn't have the the courage to do it, but it, because it was better in a way, mm. even like technique and all that. It was quite diff difficult to to put it on the on the 45 because we made some. I spoke with my DOP uh, and uh, you, you tell me that it was too risky to shoot on v VHS, but. Uh, because after that, when we blow it in uh, on 35, mm. it it could uh, lose a lot from uh, faces, mm. uh, actions, and uh, so I didn't do it. Uh, but it rests something, you know. It rests something that uh, I, I should try it, and I don't know, you know. So uh, I think each project that I made, uh, yeah, at the end, it's something that I not. Uh, completely happy so oh really so you would do that differently now for 1208 you would, you would yeah maybe yeah. yeah yeah I will try it for sure uh, is that just a confidence thing you're more confident in in your abilities uh, you know each movie that you make you may it's uh, it's a step maybe I don't know mm. I will never do again 1208 that's for sure yeah. <laughs> but yeah I, I said like that, that that maybe sometimes there are things that rest for you, incomplete, you mm, know, mm. maybe. You said each film is kind of a close-up of the last or a blow-up of it. And never, yeah, it's weird because I made, I made another movie after this one, but it's like a documentary. Mm. I think in a way that movie, it's, it's a certain type, so it's the end of a certain type of journey. Mm. Uh, thinking, at, but I realized after, but it was something that I had it to my mind, but I made it at the end. And uh, yeah, but uh, it's not something that it's, I don't know, it's not something very precise or something very, for me, it's like something that I'm uh, where it, uh, I realize after in a way, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, it was an idea that I have a long time ago. I made it and after that I realized, okay, but it's something that maybe, it's, yeah. But you don't, you never know where you mm. get. <laughs> Do you feel that? <laughs> Maybe in a, all the time I, I try to, yeah, uh, that's also. You feel that it signals something, like an end, you were saying? Like the, uh, the, now that it's, that's done, that documentary project, you feel like it's kind of marking off a yeah, period? Yeah, but in a way I was thinking that it's like a certain type of, yeah. I see these four movies, you know, in a way like uh, something. After that, I have another story. I'm written. I'm writing another script. I I start another documentary. So I have. But I, I had that that feeling, that feeling when I finished Beggars. I made it like that in, mm. you know, in two days. You know. Mm. So, but uh, afterwards, when I was thinking it all, now it's almost finished. I have to, just to 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 to, to finish it. Mm. But uh, when I was looking, because now I'm really work on this one. Mm. So I was. I was realized this in a way, I don't know, because I'm in between now, I have to promote uh, this one and uh, metabolism, and in the same time I'm, I have to finish my project that I'm working on. Mm. What is that project? I won't tell you now. Oh. <laughs> not even a hint? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm, I want to be very, you know, mm. sure that it's... But it's the the birth of something new, or it's the start of a new, like kind of period in your your career. I don't know, no, no, maybe it's a, no, I don't know. It's, mm. it's, I, I felt it like that. Mm. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>